Hey, how you doing? It's Chris over at the Solo Dev. Hope you're doing well. So, what I've got here, you're looking at it now, obviously. Uh, this is a load of foliage that I'm using with the landscape material that is covering my large map. See, there it is there. Now, a problem I've got here is if I run my profiling tools, um, which is basically a kind of system that sees what memory is being used by what and what processes are being used by what. One of the main things that's using up, you know, an enormous amount of resources, and I mean a really big amount of resources here, is shadows. Okay, now, I mean, obviously shadows are going to take a lot of calculation, but there's a lot of shadows being used in my project that I genuinely don't need. Now, how can I find out what they are? Well, what I've got here, okay, I'm going to leave this open so you can kind of see it is i've got sm flower a and sm flower a1 and all these other things here now this is a process that's going to take you know a few minutes but it's something that's going to speed up the process of what you're doing a ridiculous amount now i can edit these using what's known as the property matrix right so let's say i grab two of these okay because this is for doing more than one at a time so i've just held control and selected two of these so what i'm going to do is just right click and I should be able to find edit in property matrix somewhere. Uh, bulk edit via property matrix. Right, here we go. So now both of these things, if we look here, are inside here. And I can open up my static mesh and I can open up all my other settings here, like LOD settings and stuff like that. But you'll notice my LOD group says none. Mm, awkward, right? Why? Because it does have LOD groups. Now, if I go into SM Flower A1 here, and go to my Lord Picker, I've actually got, you know, three LOD groups here. Now let's have a look at the shadow and what's going on. You can see the shadow is being cast. So every time one of these is in my scene, every single time, you know, no matter how far away I am from this, it's casting a shadow onto other objects inside of my scene. And that is a massive resource hold when you've got a landscape that's producing thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of these. So obviously, LOD zero, we're going to want you know, 20 triangles, 61 verts, it's not a lot. It's producing a shadow, so when I'm nice and close, that'll be fine. But let's go to LOD1 now, the LOD1. And I'm just going to, you see here it says sections and it's all opened up. I'm just going to turn off cast shadow. And when I do that, it's only going to cast a shadow now when I'm close to it. Now, how close? Well, if I get really far away, we can see it's starting to cast a shadow again. Okay, but when I get kind of close up here, we can see uh, it isn't. So maybe I want LOD1 to cast a shadow, and I don't want LOD2 to cast a shadow. So if I just click that one, you can see the shadow's turned off there. Once we get closer in, we start getting shadows. No shadow, shadow, no shadow, shadow, yeah? So look at LOD1, so you can see there's my shadow being cast there. And there's LOD0, there's my shadow being cast there. Now, what I'm going to do for the minute is I'm going to turn off my shadows on LOD1 and LOD2 and keep my LOD3, which is my nice close one. So if I come in close, you'll see there's LOD0. And if I switch this to LOD Auto, now when I come back, we should see there the shadows are vanishing as I get further and further away from my plant, right? So I'm going to have to do this, obviously, for everything. I mean, there's no, you know, second guessing this. Basically, everything in here that's a static mesh. So let's go to SM Flower B and look at how I can do this quickly. And I'm just going to do this for a few of them to kind of demonstrate how it's done. Okay, so uh, let's see, LOD Auto, let's go to LOD 1, again, turn off Shadow, LOD 2, turn off Shadow. There you go, save. So now when these are really tiny, they're not casting shadows, which is great because I don't really want them to. I'm going to have fog and all sorts of environmental effects in here. The last thing I really need is this casting, you know, a boatload of shadows that I'm never, ever going to see. Again, LOD1, turn shadow off, LOD2, turn shadow off. So again, only shadows on the very first one, which is great because that's where we want to see the shadows, okay? Let's do it again, SM Flower D. So these are four variations of the same flower here. And yeah, this is a pain, okay? Let's face it, you know, none of us enjoy having to go through and do this. And yes, you could write a script or some sort of a program that would do this for you, sure. But you know what? Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of music on and listen to something, you know, maybe have a podcast. And I can just do this while I'm doing that. Just go through all my flowers 
So now my SM flower E, look at this. Again, LOD auto. So again, turn off cast shadow. And again, turn off cast shadow. And what a difference is this going to make? It's going to make a huge difference. Because again, it's not having to cast shadows over the entirety of my island. Now you can't really see it too well there, but I tell you what, the performance already is starting to take a real turn for the better, even if it looks like it's literally a slideshow there, because, you know, it is slow. Let's go to our flower clusters. Look at this, all the complicated shadows this thing was making at the minute, right? Again, LOD auto, let's turn off one. Cast shadow, and you see this, it's got two sections to it, both casting independent shadows. So that's a really wasteful thing that it's doing there. Turn that off as well. There we go. Now, much, much better. And remember, every so often, just click Save All. Okay, very, very important to click Save All so that that works for you. So, very simple little bit of advice there for working with foliage. Okay, again, um, you don't have to do this, but if you've got a large scene, and, you know, if I just move this out of the way, just a moment, there we go, you can see that I have got, you know, a very large scene actually in my world, then doing something like this, just little things like this is going to make the world of difference to your project. Anyway, you have a great day. Um, thanks very much for watching. And uh, I will see you again soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye for now. Big thumb.